In this video, we're going over the best freelancing websites that you can try out in 2023 if you want to figure out what is the best way or the best website for you to make money online as a freelancer. My name's Nick Newsom. I've been a freelancer for over three years. I work primarily on Fiverr, but there are some other good ones out there, and I want to talk about those today. There's also some like kind of like bad ones, not bad like shady, but just like they haven't really gained any ground yet and they're not really getting a whole lot of popularity. So I want to point those things out, point out the pros, the cons, and you know, you can kind of figure out, make the decision for yourself, which is the best website for you to start freelancing or to add more of your profiles, add more profiles to other websites in 2023. Let's jump on my computer and go over a couple things. So I punched in freelancer for hire right here into Google. I mean, what if, if someone didn't know where to hire a freelancer, right? They're like, okay, I want to hire a freelancer. They're talking to their friend. They're like, I want to hire a freelancer. So what do they want to do? They look in, they go to Google, hire freelancer, right? Would this be the main one? Freelancer for hire. This seems to be the main keyword right here, according to Uber Suggest. If we scroll down to the bottom, um, Google gives some other keywords and, and Uber Suggest will give me the stats on it. Upwork freelancers, 1,900 searches a month, freelance websites. So, but that could be for people like us. We're trying to um, go on freelance sites, but let's look Upwork. Upwork gets 450,000 searches per month. Wow. Freelance jobs gets 40,500 per month. Um, Fiverr, I wish we would see that. Fiverr, 1 million searches per month. Fiverr login, Fiverr login, Fiverr job, Fiverr apps, Fiverr stock, job on Fiverr, logo designs, Fiverr. So clearly Fiverr, Fiverr's getting a little bit more traffic than, than Upwork, 450,000. They're killing it, okay? So, and then let's also check out freelance websites. So they have Upwork and Fiverr are the top two. And that's where I would definitely have your profile. I have mine on Fiverr. I have one on Upwork. I haven't gotten much talent or experience on Upwork. And I also haven't put in that much time and effort. So, I mean, I think like in the future, I'll put more time and effort into it. But as of right now, uh, Fiverr is like my, my bread and butter. And I just go to Fiverr. But Upwork is a definite, definite good one. And the difference between Upwork and... And Fiverr is Fiverr has is a more like pay per gig type of model, and where Upwork Upwork is more of a pay per hour type of model. So people could want to hire you for, and it all depends on the person how they want to hire you. Um, you know, just like I prefer the, the the money per gig, like I'd rather get paid per gig. Well, some people want to pay per hour, right? So then you, it's good to have your profile on both places. That way you can get paid picked up per hour, and or you could also get paid um, per gig. Just like I have an opinion, you probably have an opinion. You know, go ahead and put that in the comments. What's your opinion? Would you rather get paid per gig or would you rather get paid per hour? And, you know, that's just something you have to think about because since our opinions differ, well, so do the buyers, right? The buyers are going to have different opinions on that as well. Got to be top, tal top talent. You will find some of the world's best freelancers. I'm sure this is good enough as an indication for the pricing, the rates are higher, but you get what you pay for. TopTal is one of the best freelancing platforms today. So a little bit different there. Okay, so that's that's for like bigger companies. I would say like for TopTal, you want this is um, top top three percent of freelance talent. So if you're super skilled, you want to go over there, right? You're probably gonna get you're probably gonna get paid a lot more. And that's for bigger companies. There's people per hour. Yeah, I have heard of this one. But I also feel like the only way that they are getting not uh, any notoriety is from this blog. And it looks like they've the freelancers have brought in 106 million. Freelancer.com, you're gonna post your job, you're gonna choose freelancers, you're gonna track progress, and you're gonna pay safely. Guru, I've also heard about Guru. I haven't heard anything good about Guru. And that's it. And just to give you a different look, like this, this way you can really see what's going on between Upwork and Fiverr. We'll start with Upwork and then we'll go over to Fiverr. Um, so when you come to Upwork, like this is what you're looking at. You're like, you know, for the kind of service that you want to, that you want to get, um, this is what you're going to see. So top rated freelancers and web development, right? You can see this right here. Top rated freelancers in web development. So you can hire them for anywhere around the world and look, they, you know, $45 an hour, $130 an hour, $50 an hour. They got, you have top rated, 
top rated plus, um, full stack engineer. So this is what it's going to look like. And then you, and then you're going to click into them. Um, so if you build a profile, like you can expect that you're, this is what you're going to look like. But when, whenever we're looking and you want to try and tap into like, okay, what are the people that are winning doing? Like if they're winning, I want to copy what they're doing. So in order to copy what they're doing, let's, let's do a little research here. Let's dive a little bit deeper. Let's dig into what they have going on. All right. So let's click on a profile. Um, let's go with the $130 an hour. I just like the rate. That's what I want to see. So $120 per 60 minutes uh, for that, whatever that is. So this is what you're going to see when you come to somebody's profile. So Podio, I mean, look, he's made some good money here. That was at $70 an hour. Must have had like a good contract with them, right? So if we click on this, you know, and then you can see some stats, you know, 199 hours, $70 per hour. Um, okay. Rating skills. Uh, good, good, good. I've worked with Mike for over two years now. Freelancers feedback to client for over two years. It's always a pleasure. He has been great communication and always provides a lot of detail. So that money was over two years, right? So he's, he's made that kind of money over two years. Okay. So this is the kind of thing you can expect on, on Upwork, right? So you're going to get paid per hour. You have to, you're going to have to like, you probably build relationships with your, with your customers. So if you do good work, they're going to come back to you again and again, right? Depending on your niche and what you're doing. Um, I, I would assume though that that makes a lot of sense, right? Like, I mean, look at, by the time he acquired them, you know, it's been two years on that review, but over that two years, it's been worth $14,000. So that's a good client, right? And, and some of these haven't added up to as much. I mean, that one's pretty good, but these other ones are small. So it's like, it's almost like there's a lot of talking time and communication before you even get the job. They probably wanna to talk to you and interview you um, before you get that $120. You know, it's not bad, but it's just not a lot. You know, seven work orders for 3,000. See, they kept coming back. There were seven work orders there. Um, you know, so I, I think like on Upwork, what you're doing, the whole the whole idea is to like develop a relationship with your with your clients. So you really want to be strategic about your your hour your price per hour. Whereas on uh, if we go over to Fiverr, Fiverr is a little bit different. So Fiverr is a little bit different. It's probably going to bring okay, yeah. So this is my profile. Um, you know, you can see my face right there. So they're a little bit different, and I prefer that. I just I don't know. I just like this business model because they're going to give you your your thumbnails. You know, this is what you do. You put up a video, video with a thumbnail, and then you put the price of your gig, right? So this is like you pay me money, and I'm going to give you you know whatever it is we have here. And these are some I've just been researching lately. Like uh, this girl, you know, she'll she'll teach you Facebook ad strategy and funnels. Right. And then, um, this one's making YouTube videos for you. 50 bucks. Hers is $120 per uh, $140 per hour. This is $55 for a 15 second TikTok video. Um, so it's not per hour, right? So as, as ever long, however long it takes, um, this girl, you know, to make her 15 second TikTok video for her customer, um, you know, she's getting paid $55. So if it takes her an hour, she's getting 55. If it takes her two hours, she's getting 55. If it literally takes her two minutes, she's getting paid $55. Um, and she has a lot. So, I mean, it really comes down to what you want to do if you want to get paid per hour or you want to get paid per gig. And like I said, it probably makes sense. And I'm probably been bad because I haven't been doing this, but I should definitely have more. I should put more time into my Upwork profile because yeah, I would like to develop those relationships when you're freelancing, it definitely helps to have steady income, right? So you want to, you want to build a relationship with somebody that keeps coming back and keeps coming back and keeps coming back. So keep that in mind as a freelancer, like how do you keep customers coming back? That's, that's definitely, definitely going to be a big success factor in your freelancing career. Now, what, what were the other ones? We looked at Upwork, uh, Fiverr, and we'll hit top toll. Um, uh, I mean, top tal, I keep saying it that way. And people per hour, it's kind of the same thing as freelancer.com. Freelancer.com is going to be a big one. Um, I do believe that, you know, they're, they were probably one of the bigger ones that came up. <clears throat> if you, if you look at the unsponsored top three, Upwork, Freelancer, and surprising Fiverr is not even up here. There's people per hour. There's Fiverr. Oh, so people per hour is actually like getting up here. Where do hire freelancers? Nine best sites, but people per hour is right there. So interesting. Um, let's check them out. Okay, what are you about? Most popular categories, content writing, SEO, website development. 
you know, let's just go to the website development. Ooh, and it looks like people per hour is, is that per hour? Design, develop, professional WordPress website, 180. Oh, and you can add extras, they're all right here. What do you get? Up to eight pages. Responsive design, is that per hour? But I'm trying to figure out, is, is it per hour? Okay, and you're gonna get unlimited revisions and you, and you get one month sales support. Okay, so what I'm gathering from this is it's $180. But that's for the whole job, and that's not per hour, even though this website is called People Per Hour. So it's a little confusing there. So People Per Hour, okay, it looks like this is another one, another good one that I didn't even realize was out here that I definitely want to use. Um, let's go back to this page here. WordPress design. 960, 500, 100. He's got no jobs yet. Four jobs at 400. 47 jobs he's doing 960 we're not here to pick apart price but i just want to say like okay so people per hour <laughs> people per hour is not per hour um i don't know where that came from but they are definitely not per hour so i don't know what's going on and then the last one that i want to mention is um is your linkedin profile so i haven't dug into this yet but from what i can tell from the top freelancers um, on YouTube, if you check them out, they're going to say that like LinkedIn has been a great source for them. So I think like that goes to show that along with your social media, along with these other sites, you should definitely be using your social media to promote yourself so that, you know, you can let people, let people know who you are. You can, you can introduce yourself. You can reach out to other businesses. LinkedIn is a great place for that on your own social profiles, like on your, on your, um, Facebook, on your Instagram, um, uh, feel free to make a YouTube channel. I mean, these are all free. And if you're going to start freelancing in 2023, it's all about attention, right? The information, your skill set, people can get that anywhere. Everybody's got the same skills. Everybody's got the same information. But what really counts, what really matters in this day and age in 2023 is attention. Are you getting enough attention? Are you getting in front of enough eyeballs? So that's like my sole advice from this. There's those websites right there. Just do freelancer for hire search on Google and you'll find the best websites that you wanna build your profile on, and then go out there and acquire those skills, build your profile, work on it all the time. The thing is, like, it takes a while to get some momentum because when you first get started, you're not gonna have any reviews. And you know, if you, look at, if you go and look at these sites, somebody without any reviews, it's hard to get a job. When I first started, I did, you know, I had to get the cheapest price possible. I had to do so much work for so little money just because those reviews and those jobs, those, those recordings of those jobs was so important. When I say recording, like if I go to look at your profile, do you show zero jobs or do you show 50 jobs, right? So those recording of the jobs lets people know like where you're at, where you're at in your journey. So in the beginning, you, 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 <laughs> it's terrible, but you got to do a low price and you got to work for a low amount of money. And you're probably going to be dealing with some pretty, I don't know, you know, unfavorable customers. And it's just the way it is. But my suggestion to you is this, do the best work that you can, uh, no matter how much the money, you know, cause you're building your reputation. So just don't even think about, don't even think about the money. What I want you to think about is your reputation because this is gonna be the most important thing. Your reputation is everything these days. In 2023, if people find you with bad reviews or a bad reputation, they're not gonna do business with you, period. Okay, so make sure you have good reviews. Um, make sure you do good work so people do give you good reviews. And that's like the best advice I have. If you want my, I have a, put together a special training. It's called my Fiverr Freelancer Marketing Hacks. Um, you can check it out. The link is in the description. Just go ahead and check, out, uh, check that out. You can click on the link. And then other than that, that's it for this video. I hope you like it. Um, don't forget to smash that like button. And if you want to see more, just check out the video right here. Peace.